I got a handful of things. Uh, I got a toy. Two bucks. Eight bucks. Eight bucks. That's a deal. Where do you get all this stuff? I get storage units. Do you? Yeah. Awesome. It's like the consolidation of multiple storage nice. units. Nice. Thanks so much. Good luck to you. Thank you. What's up guys, I am back at my shop. I only went to one sale today, it's Wednesday, so the fact that there is even one sale to go to at all was pretty cool. The guy has the sale periodically, it seemed like. He gets stuff at storage units and just keeps adding to the pile of stuff. It was very much one of those sales where you had to just dig around, because he had stuff strewn about everywhere, a bunch of just random boxes and totes uh, to dig through. I didn't find a lot of stuff, but I'm pretty happy with what I did find, and it was crazy cheap. I got five things, and he quoted me eight bucks. I'm like, yeah, absolutely, take my money, I'll give you eight bucks for the stuff. I got this Kylo Ren mask. This is like a voice activated type of mask thing. It takes batteries, but unfortunately the batteries were corroded. Tested it, did not work. When they're working, these sell for about $20 plus shipping but not working, I don't know. I might be lucky to get 10 bucks. I might just take this home for the kids to play with, honestly. This right here, Buddy the Elf action figure. Um, this brand, Nika, most of the time, they aren't worth much money. Um, I've, I've gotten a lot of these Nika toys in the past and it seems like they're just so mass produced that there isn't much value there, but this one is actually selling for around 30 to $35 plus shipping. I've sold a whole bunch of Scentsy warmers over the years, and I've done really well with some of them. This is Starry Christmas, and I opened it up. It had all the styrofoam, and I saw some of the pieces still in the plastic, so I'm hopefully, hopefully that it's all there, uh, complete. And if it is, it's going anywhere between like $25 and $40 plus shipping. It's not the right time of year to sell this, obviously, uh, being March. Uh, I might have to sit on it for a few months as we get closer to Christmas. But anytime you see Scentsy Warmers, new in the box, if you can get them for like 5 bucks or less, I'd say pretty much always pick them up. There's some that are like retired, like older models or some Disney ones. Some of them go for some really, really, really big money. You're talking like $100 or $200. So always keep an eye out for Scentsy stuff. Got this ZZ Top 1991 
Recycler War World Tour. The graphics on this thing are amazing. Um, it's got a bunch of damage, uh, as the Mojo Casher folks tell me. They just call that thrashed, and apparently some people like that look. So there you go. It's thrashed, ready to go. Tag is torn off on it, but it is most definitely vintage, and it is single stitch, which should have the value, I think. I saw the same one sell for like $75, but then I also saw some lesser comps of like $20 or $30, and I'm not sure if those are reprints. So, I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens with it. I might list it for like 60 or 70 or best offer. Uh, I don't know the size, so I'll just have to put up dimensions, but kind of looks like a medium to me. I don't know. What do you guys think? This one is newer. It's not vintage. Leonard Skinner 2008. Uh, looks like the sleeves have been cut off. Could not find the same one, so I'll probably just list it for 20 or best offer, and the tag has been uh, torn off on that one too. We are getting closer and closer to garage sale season. I'm so excited to start getting out there, hitting them Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and making more videos like this for you guys. But with that being said, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>